Hey, hello, our Savior, and welcome to our weekly Rev Up. We just began a new sermon series entitled Decades, where we're taking a look at the past to give us some insight, some important spiritual insight into today and tomorrow. We started off with the 1960s, and we said the 60s was a decade of revolution, of military, ideological, and social revolution. It was in the 1960s that this new train of thought began to bleed over into our culture. A new way of thinking that said everything is relative. In other words, there are no absolutes. That everything is a situation ethic. That there is no concrete objective truth. Well, it left people thinking, what is truth? I mean, what is true? Well, your true is true for you, and my true is true for me, and both of them are truth. It was also in the 1960s that the moral imperative of Woodstock began also to bleed into the way that we think. And that imperative said this, if it feels good, you know the answer. If it feels good, do it, right? It was in the 60s that this cultural revolution took place, that people began to see themselves as being set free. They were no longer bound. I mean, you get that? No longer bound to the moral ethic of the previous generation. No longer bound to the truth of God's word. A line had been crossed. And that continues to impact us even today. You see, we cross the line from God's revelation to man's speculation. From the truth of God's revealed word to what we think is right. And we've bought into that cultural lie. We continue to incorporate that way of thinking into how you and I live on a daily basis. And many people still ask, what is true? I mean, just look around. We have fake news alternative facts, contradictory truth. Ultimately, we make ourselves the truth. The buck stops with us. I am my own authority. I mean, that's the first commandment, isn't it? You shall have no other gods before me. Luther said, what does this mean? We should fear, love, and trust in God above all things. But Jesus came into the world full of grace and truth. Not partial grace, not partial truth. Whole, complete, full of grace, and full of truth. And the truth is, he tells us that he is with us every step of the way. And that's why Paul could say in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, we are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. In other words, you know what? The, the, the news that the physician gave us may be pressing down hard on us. Our relationship struggles, our financial struggles, we are hard pressed on every side, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. We are struck down, maybe for a moment, but you are not destroyed. When I am weak, he is strong. And he promises to be with us every step of the way. At one day, Jesus was talking to a group of Jewish people. And he says, to the Jews who had believed in him, Jesus said, if you hold to my teaching, then you are really my disciples, then you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. You can't have one without the other. You will know the truth, not just intellectually know, but you'll believe. You'll trust in the truth and the truth will set you free. I mean, the truth is we've all fallen short. In our thoughts and our words and our deeds, we've all sinned against God and the wages of sin is death, eternal death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. St. Paul wrote, for our sake, he made him to be sin who knew no sin so that in him, we might become the righteousness of God. The truth is you are loved. The truth is God is with you every step of the way. The truth is if the Son sets you free, you are free indeed. You are a child of God. You are loved. You are forgiven. You have a living hope that can never perish, spoil, or fade kept in heaven for you. The truth, you're in God's hands. And he loves you. And there's no better place to be. You have a great day. God bless and live love.